What is up guys, Wolfgang here. So today I want to talk about my new audio setup. Now, I had made another video about this previously, talking about how I was using a microphone that I attached to my headset, and well, that thing was still pretty good. However, I wanted to upgrade, and well, here I am now. So, let's get into it. Now real quick, none of the brands that I'm using here is sponsoring this video. I bought all the products on my own, with my own money. So, I'll be showing a picture right now to show you a little bit of how the setup looks currently, at least for the microphone side. The microphone itself is a shotgun microphone. I decided that would be the best to help me feel more comfortable while recording, while talking and so on and so forth. That way I can keep the microphone a little bit further from my face and it'll still sound good. This is the Cinco D2 microphone. I originally planned to buy the Sennheiser MK, or I don't know, I don't remember, it's MK something 416 which is, well, very expensive. Um, as far as I can tell, that's the best micro shotgun microphone there is. But, well, yeah, it's extremely expensive and I'm, I'm definitely not making money out of YouTube yet. So for the time being, I went for what seemed to be the best competition for it at a reasonable price, which is the, well, Cinco D2. And as far as I know, this thing sounds really good and I've kept it and powering the microphone as this thing does require 48 volt i am i also bought the elgato wave xlr which is this guy right here and as you can see it is uh controlling my microphone right now so uh, i should start to sound much lower now and now going back to where i was just about and once in a while you'll also see this blink this is because it is controlling the audio for it to sound around the same level as before that's what that is uh, i decided to buy this let's call it amplifier but it could be something like a mixer or a xlr input perhaps you want to however you want to call it I decided to buy this one because of the features it comes with, as I was also planning to buy a Elgato Stream Deck Plus, which you guys saw in the picture. I will be making a video about that soon. So I decided if I'm buying Elgato, let's go Elgato again. And I can say they have really great software, and that's why I, I love being with Elgato now. So getting into some benefits of this setup, I really appreciate the Elgato Wave XLR's software. Elgato makes some really good stuff. You can EQ everything, you can add different filters. I tried adding several filters, VSTs, to make my audio sound great. However, after a lot of testing, it seemed to be that the best audio came from just adding a noise removal, as well as a little bit of a EQ. I didn't really need to add any second party VSTs, as it didn't really provide the results that I was expecting. So yeah, I'm currently just using those two and I really like how the audio sounds. Aside from the Elgato software, the other benefit, like I mentioned earlier, is that I bought a shotgun microphone. The shotgun microphone gives a lot of versatility as you don't really have to have it as close to your face for it to sound great. My previous microphone or dedicated microphone was a dynamic microphone. So something similar to the Shure SM7B. I believe it's a MX i or MXL990, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so, I mean, it's a great microphone, but you do have to have it very close to your face for it to sound great. Uh, the Shago microphone, I could have it further away from my face and compensate a little bit with the EQ and make it sound amazing wherever I want to place it. Now, the total of this setup when I purchased it was $360, so $160 for the Elgato Wave XLR and $200 for the microphone, which I personally think is the right price for what for the audio that these two provide together. I do have a couple of annoyances with this setup, however. The software is not always perfect, even though I really enjoy how it works. When there's an update for the firmware or the software for the Wave XLR, which is called Wavelink, it causes a couple of annoyances. So what will happen is the audio will cut out for a bit while it's updating. Sometimes, not always, it will stop or outputting audio. So for example, I could be watching a YouTube video while I update the software, and then I currently have my YouTube audio routed through the Elgato Wave XLR software, and that makes it, well, get stuck, um, not play any audio, and until I open the app again, once the update has completed, then will it continue to provide audio, but until then, zero audio. So not great on that side, but acceptable for the rest of the benefits. You just know that you have to open it once you're done. Another annoyance, which I guess isn't too bad of an annoyance, but you do need to know, 
is that when you're configuring your WaveXLR, you want to make sure you save the settings to the WaveXLR and not to the software itself. This helps that way if you disconnect this and connect it to another computer, you'll have the same exact settings as you had before, but also that way when there's an update in the software, it won't be lost. So that's something you should know if you want to buy this amplifier, this mixer, whatever you want to call it. And I have had a couple of issues, which I believe they have fixed since then, because I haven't experimented it ever since, which um, when turning on my computer, the WaveXLR does not detect a microphone or transmit any audio. This is very random. I have not been able to uh, correlate anything to it but it sometimes happens. As a conclusion, this setup is amazing. Honestly, I've really liked it. Do I want to make some improvements? Yes, but this will be in the longer term that I will do them, because as of right now, it provides some great microphone audio, as well as some pretty decent options of what to do inside the software. The microphone can be changed depending on what you're looking for, and you can add as many channels as you want to control, make your audio from different applications sound differently at different volumes, and even though Windows does have those options and they have been improving, well, it's just not the same. This does provide a lot more control, and well, if it's what you're looking for, this is the best. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and the sub button, and uh, hit the bell icon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.